This episode of the Lunch with Chris show is brought to you by my upcoming book, 30 Days to Limitless. You can find out more about it at Limitless30.com. This podcast is certified fresh. Freshmediaworks.com. Welcome to the Lunch with Chris show, where your host, Chris Daly, talks with movers and shakers from all walks of life to get their opinions on important questions. Each season, there is a new question and new guests. This short, impactful show skips all the fluff and just brings you insightful answers from great guests. And now, doing his part to change the world in a positive way, your host, Chris Daly. Hey everybody, welcome to the Lunch with Chris show. Our first guest is Gail Stolzenberg. Gail is a certified professional networker, and I tell you, he is without a doubt the best I have ever seen at networking. He is a true connector. Um, he is the author of Connections, Contacts to Clients, and One Minute to Health. On top of that, he's a good person and a great friend. Join me in welcoming Gail Stolzenberg to the show. All right, I want to welcome Gail Stolzenberg to the show. Welcome to the show, Gail. Thank you, Chris. Good to be on. You bet. And and let me let me give you a, a brief overview of Gail. I've known you now for probably 10, 15 years, something like that. And uh, you are what I would call a master connector. You're the best networker I know. You're involved in uh, USANA. You're involved in the Olympic, I believe, judo. Uh, please do a better job of explaining who you are than I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I've been hanging around a long time, Chris, and, and uh, I've had a lot of fun in my life. But uh, I, I think the, the most enjoyable thing that I've had is probably being in the uh, the networking or as I like to call it, the relationship marketing uh, uh, type of business and and uh, and in life. And uh, so at this stage, what I'm doing is trying to share that uh, information with uh, with others and, and uh, help them uh, build their life accordingly. Very cool, very cool. So let's jump right into the question, and that is, Gail, if if, or if a young man, young woman, teenager were to come up to you and say, hey, I'm about to become an adult, whether it's college or business or whatever, my next phase, what advice would you give me? Well, I can I can tell you the, uh, the story. My wife has a niece who is a uh, school teacher, and the school was having a career day, and my wife's niece got to right idea to invite me to come and talk to the students and so I listened to the other uh, individuals and they were everything from uh, the postman to the engineer to the government employee explaining about uh, what their jobs were all about mm -hmm. and when it came my turn well I said to them uh, I'm going to tell you something that the uh, rest of these uh, speakers will refuse to tell you. And and there was a, a number of teachers sitting amongst the students also. And I said, uh, never get a job. And the, the students had no idea what I was saying. The teachers were very shocked. And I went on to, uh, to explain to them that the founders of our country were entrepreneurs. And most of the people owned their own business. They were farmers or manufacturers or printers or whatever. And they actually invented and produced products that were helpful to people rather than just being employees or, right. or living off of other people contributing to uh, society. So my advice to them was find your passion and follow it. Uh, schools focus on how to get a job instead of teaching students how to start their own business. And they teach students how to build somebody else's dream <laughs> instead of building their own dreams. And I told them, you're, you're the CEO of your own business. 
and even if you are employed, you treat it as if you owned a business because someday you might. So uh, I went on to tell them that uh, education is very important because you need to learn the basics. But education really starts when you get out of school. I just read the uh, statistics yesterday for the Houston uh, schools, all the different school districts, and, and I was shocked by the low percentage of students that were able to just pass math and, and reading tests or be prepared to, to go on to college. Now, I know that some people will, some students will never uh, be college material, uh, but we need to have uh, people that work with their hands. We need the technicians and the repairmen and the constructors and, and so forth. Then I told them that all business is about relationships. Zig Ziglar said you can get anything you want in this life if you help others get what they want. And communication is probably the most important technique you can ever learn. We all have a longing for a belonging, uh, business and life, are all about building relationships. And building communities is where the future is. Learn to network and build relationships both face-to-face -face and online, uh, much the way that, uh, that you've been uh, building your business. Robert Kiyosaki says, the wealthiest people in the world join or build networks. The rest of the people just look for work. And the next trait I told them is leadership. John C. Maxwell says, everything starts and ends with leadership. Leaders know the way, go the way, show the way. So you think of yourself as a leader, you act as a leader, and then you dress as a leader. And you need to find a mentor, someone that has done what you want to do, and then you learn from them. And every successful person I know, from athletes to business people, have mentors and coaches, from Michael Jordan to Bill Gates, so have someone to coach you in every aspect of your life. And you want to find a charitable cause, something that you feel passionate about, because in addition to helping others, you're going to meet some of the most successful people in the world. You want to use a, a, a giver's gain philosophy, servant leadership, we call it, or pay it forward, tit for tat. Mm -hmm. And the platinum rule is to do unto others as they would have done to them. And finally, I said balance your life. The six areas that I personally work on are my mind, body, spirit, time, money, and people. And start a journal. Every successful per person that I know keeps a journal. You write down what you're going to do and then what you have done and then how you can do it better. And you plan for at least a week at a time. Stephen Covey always says, begin with the end in mind. So basically, that's what I told the students uh, on, on career day, and uh, unfortunately, they never asked me back. <laughs> 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 well, y your advice is great advice. You're right, it doesn't fit with what uh, the school districts teach, but, uh, but it is great life advice, I tell you, and uh, I can't thank you enough for, for sharing that with our audience. Well, I, I appreciate that, and, and uh, as I say, I've, I'm spending the, uh, uh, the the rest of my life trying to uh, share ideas with people and and, uh, and 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 mentor some people along the way too. Very nice. So, tell me, what do you have coming up? Well, I, I, the most exciting thing that I'm doing right now is uh, I'm involved with a, a couple of uh, of entrepreneurs that are that are really visionaries. Uh, one of those individuals is the son of Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar passed away uh, about two years ago, I guess. And uh, his son, Tom, has taken over the Ziglar Corporation, and he's focusing uh, on the small business education area. And with him is a fellow named Howard Partridge. I don't know if you ever had an opportunity to meet Howard or not, but uh, he has a company called Phenomenal Products, and basically, they take every aspect of a small business, whether it is uh, the marketing or the sales or the operations or the administration or the leadership, and train businesses uh, how to stop being a slave to their business and how to use that business 
to uh, help develop the kind of lifestyle that uh, that they intended to to have. So they're doing that with a process uh, we call it the inner circle, but it is uh, building communities, and uh, and these communities uh, come from all walks of life. There's everything from a doctor or a lawyer or a, a, uh, a carpet cleaning company, or right on down the line, and. Uh, the folks all work together, sharing that information, similar to what uh, you and I were doing when we were involved with the uh, uh, BNA uh, group mm-hmm. many years ago. And uh, we have uh, regular weekly meetings with uh, with these different companies, and, and we have quarterly uh, 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 conventions. But uh, we've had speakers like John Maxwell, uh, Michael Gerber, uh, we've had uh, Bob Berg, uh, we've had uh, Joe Michelli, the author of uh, the uh, Starbucks story and the Rich Carlton story, great great entrepreneurs that uh, share information with us. So that's the exciting thing that's, uh, that's going on in my uh, life right now, Chris. Nice. So, how can people find out more about that, or you uh, in in you know where can they go to find out more? The 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 easiest way to get hold of me is just to go to Gail. That's G A I L Stolzenberg. That's S T O L Z E N B U R G dot com, or you can call me at two eight one four nine three one nine five five. Very very good. Again, thank you so much for sitting down and uh, sharing this information. Well, thank thank you for the opportunity, Chris. It was good talking to you. You bet.